In this video, we're going to be having a look at molar calculations. I'll start off with the definition of what moles actually is. Um, then I'll walk through why were moles actually needed and the basic steps to do molar calculation questions. And then we'll have a look at some of the examples. So, the first question, moles, a definition. Moles is basically defined as any substance that contains the Avogadro's number of entities, which is 6.022 times 10 to the power of 23. What does that mean? Simply put, moles is a unit of measurement. Unit of measurement. We use moles to measure things. Now, why would we make up a new unit of measurement? I mean, you know, couldn't we use mass? Couldn't we use volume? We already have so many units of measurements. Why make up another one? Right? It's because the existing units of measurement, such as mass, are actually in inadequate because chemical reactions do not take place at the levels in which grams would make sense. They take place at levels in, you know, the number of particles that are reacting, not the mass. Therefore, you need to have a unit of measurement that's defined in, you know, terms of the number of particles. So, that's what moles is. So, think of moles, supposing I want to go from here to Mexico, right? How do I go from here to Mexico? Obviously, Australian dollars is not accepted in Mexico. So what do I do? I take my Aussie dollars and I convert it to American dollars. Then I go over there, you know, and then convert my American dollars back to Mexican pesos. So similarly, moles is an international currency. You know, for all of our calculations, I can take mass, I can take volume, I can take concentration and convert that to moles. Then use the mole ratio to go to the other side and then convert the moles back into whatever I need. Um, the, for year 12, there's only three formulas that you'll ever need to do any of these mole calculations. And let's just have a look at that. So the first one is you should have already learned that in year 12, which equals to N equals M on big M. Right? The number of moles is the mass of the substance divided by the molecular weight. The concentration equals the number of moles divided by the volume. And the third one is the volume equals number of moles times multiplied by VA. Now VA is just this number that's given to you in your data sheet, depending on what the temperature is. It's either STP or SLC. And we'll have a look at a few examples um, to go through this stuff. That's it. That's all the formulas you need to do any of the year 12 more calculation questions. Um, now, there's only four steps to doing any mole questions. First one, balanced equation. All right, so that's kind of like giving you exchange rate. So you have, you know, something plus something equals something. All right. Step two, convert what you have. To moles. So let's say I have Aussie dollars, I convert them into US dollars, so I convert what I have to moles. Step 3, use mole ratio. That is, I catch a plane and I go on the other side. And step 4 is convert moles to what is needed. So this is then converting US dollars back into Mexican pixels. Right? So I write the balance equation first just so that I know what I'm doing. I convert my Aussie dollars into US dollars, so I convert what I have to moles, use the mole ratio, and then once I have the moles of this thing, I can then convert back down. Those are, those are the only four steps you need to do any mole calculation question. So let's actually try to go through this. So let's do an example. Alright? Um, the question is this, and I'll just write the question up on the board. Um, but basically, the question is asking you, um, I'm combusting ethanol. So, the question asks you to say there's 75.2 grams of ethanol that I completely combust. And I want you to do is, I want you to calculate the volume of carbon dioxide gas produced. 